All right, guys, welcome to my new video series. Uh, I'm going to be calling it either the Arsenal or the Ar Artillery. We'll see in the uh, subject line what I end up going with. But uh, so this is actually going to be a video series where what I want to talk about was obviously the weaponry that we have as pitchers, and that's going to be our pitches. So I'm going to be going, each video is going to be a different pitch, different grips, different cues on how to throw it, you know, information about each one and going from there. So I figured, you know, best way to start this off is, of course, with prototype the four seam fastball so when it comes to the four seam there's obviously when it comes to the grip there's pretty much only one or two ways to throw it it's either with the horseshoe on the inside or the horseshoe on the outside all just kind of depends on kind of your personal feel i eventually evolved like i started off like growing up i always threw it with the horseshoe on the outside kind of like towards the thumb and then as I got a little bit older I would end up throwing this although obviously as a side armor I ended up just going with the two seam <clears throat> so that's pretty much you know the only main two grips for the younger guys um, obviously you know with the little ones if you're watching this for your kid or hell if you're a kid watching this which forgive me for the swear <laughs> but uh, you know you have the three finger fastball it has a little bit more control a little bit more momentum now <clears throat> with sorry my dry throat is kind of keeping me good from going but basically with the four seam fastball uh what you kind of want you don't want to death rip it because a lot of what causes your fastball to be more effective and to create more spin create you know a little bit more whip is the looseness because you get a lot more kind of whip on your wrist so as you're going to throw it i'm just going to hold it like that so when you go to throw it even pressure on the fingers. I like to have the thumb on the first knuckle. If I'm really feeling kind of confident with it, I'll go fingertip just like that. And then given I have smaller hands for a guy my size, um, but usually I try to just kind of have it like right there. <clears throat> so where first knuckle, you don't, I don't usually like it too much tighter unless I'm real, like I'm throwing, if I'm throwing BP, I'll do that because, you know, a little bit more control on it. I want a little bit more whip. So I'll do that. I know some guys, when they want a little bit faster ball, they'll go tighter on the two things. And then like uh, Dustin Peace over at Location Nation likes to talk about is he'll, um, he'll he spread out his fingers more to give him more control. But of course, what that does is it creates less whip and kind of is almost more of a split fingered fastball in a way. So you get a lot less velocity and it's more controlled. So it kind of toy with it. And of course you don't always have to rely on one, you know, for instance, if I wanted to throw it hard, but I didn't really care where it went, just kind of wing it, maybe go a little bit more like that. If you want to control it a little more with a little lower velocity here, but you want to throw it with the same effort. Now for me, the fastball, regardless of whether it's the four seam or the two seam, that's where you throw all your pitches out of. And that's going to be a very common out, common thing that I talk about in all of these videos. Everything should look like your fastball because that is going to be, you know, the main pitch you throw any upwards of 90% of the time. If you really are a flamethrower to 60% of the time at the lowest, you know, everything plays off the fastball. You're going to throw with the fastball arm speed on everything. So your fastball is what you're going to be throwing the most, the most of all. And of course, that's what you play catch with the most. So that's what you're going to be more, most comfortable with. So with your fastball, everything should be all go. Not slowing down your arm, not slowing down your body, trying to control it. So you need to be able to learn the feel at higher velocities, at higher efforts. So yeah, that is the fastball, is the, you know, the basics of it, the grips and everything else. If you have any questions, of course, always feel free to comment. Send me a message on Twitter at BP Ballistics. Follow me on Instagram. I believe it's just Bullpen Ballistics on there. I need to double check that before I do these videos, but oh well. Especially since most of you guys follow me on Instagram anyways. But yeah, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to like it, share, subscribe. And yeah, that is the four-seam fastball. Thank you guys for watching.